There's a genetic revolution occurring, but it's happening in all different levels. You can go online or in a store and buy a kit. A saliva tube and it may not Typically, you'll spit into a tube from which they collect the DNA. You send that into the testing company, and then they'll produce your results and give it to you on the web. And because it's a web delivery of information, there's not anyone trying to adapt that information to their personal situation and it doesn't involve a medical professional. So we are in the newly renovated space of the Division of Diagnostic Genomics. I don't think there's a risk if I want to know my eye color or my hair density or even my body composition. If you have a concern about any kind of risk associated with this testing, and that would be more of a medical risk, and you need help in understanding that, in interpreting that, then you should seek out a medical health care provider. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Cindy Hunter. We started together the Indiana Familial Cancer Clinic. We're a team. Mm -hmm. It's really a team. Well, we uh, primarily specialize in cancer genetics, so we're generally meeting with individuals who are concerned about their risk for developing cancer based on their family history. The benefit is we can then apply this information to them directly. So this is paraffin embedded tissue, and we use this primarily for breast cancer testing. And we try to figure out if there's a genetic predisposition or a genetic reason for their cancer. Compared to one signal. So pathologists are intimately involved in the diagnostics that influence patient care. That includes genetic testing. How are you? Glad to meet you. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah. Well, I'm Jeff Jackson and initially saw her because of my family history of lung cancer and my dad who was a non-smoker and my two sisters. So he saw his father with it, he's seen that his sibs with it, he wants to know what the risk is for his children. We bring in whatever information they had from the direct-to-consumer testing and apply it both to that medical and family history. I'm having my uh, yearly uh, low radiation exposure uh, uh, CT scans. If I had confidence that, that uh, there was a gene I didn't inherit, I wouldn't have to keep doing that testing. So I think the danger is overreacting to the information. The danger is advising any medical treatment without confirmatory testing. So I think people who are curious and want to know about their ancestry, want to know a little bit more about them than what they see in the mirror or hear from their family members, I think it's a good idea. But again, know the limitations of the test. So I like the investigation that goes on with finding either new diseases or unusual outcomes or unusual test results. Not only do you know patients, but you know their families as well.